A lot of people ask if they should learn Go, Rust, or some other programming language. In this video, I'm going to give you the top three reasons why the best time to learn Rust is right now. Also, at the end of the video, I'll explain why Rust has a high learning curve and how you can make that learning curve a lot easier. So with that said, let's get rusty. The first reason why you should learn Rust now is that Rust is here to stay. Rust is showing no signs of slowing down. Every single month, there are more and more open Rust job positions. The Rust community continues to grow. In fact, the Rust subreddit has now surpassed the Go subreddit in terms of members. And more and more developers are choosing Rust instead of languages like C++ for greenfield projects. Take Dino, for example, the successor to Node.js written by Ryan Dahl, who also created Node.js. Node's infrastructure was written in C++, while with Dino, Ryan decided to write the infrastructure in Rust. In fact, in one interview, Ryan said he's convinced that he would never start another C++ project again in lieu of Rust. Besides the growth, Rust is also stewarded by a nonprofit organization called the Rust Foundation, which is funded by major tech companies such as AWS, Meta, Google, Microsoft, and more. Lastly, the Rust team has put great focus on making sure Rust is interoperable with languages such as C and C++. A big testament to this is an ongoing effort to make Rust an officially supported language for the Linux kernel, which is almost entirely written in C. All this to say, Rust is not going anywhere, so if you make an investment to learn Rust now, your investment will pay dividends in the future. The second reason why learning Rust now is the best time is because Rust is the language of choice for new innovation, specifically in two areas, the first one being WebAssembly. If you want to build an app in WebAssembly, Rust is a great choice. Rust provides first-class support for WebAssembly and fully featured frameworks such as you. The second area of innovation where Rust is used, and this could be triggering for some, so grab a paper bag, is the blockchain crypto Web3 space. Whether you want to write a Solana smart contract or set up a lightning node, when you're in this space, you'll likely run into Rust. So having a fundamental knowledge of Rust is going to be useful if you want to explore the bleeding edge of technology. The third reason why learning Rust now is the best time is that learning Rust will make you a better programmer, especially if you're coming from a web development background like I am. Learning Rust will teach you about low-level systems programming, memory management, functional programming, polymorphism without inheritance, and more. The best part is that learning these concepts in Rust is a lot easier, in my opinion, than learning these concepts through languages such as C or C++. And that's because Rust has amazing error messages and a really helpful and friendly community. That being said, Rust does have a high learning curve, and I think there are a few reasons for that. The first reason is that Rust does have some complicated concepts which you need to learn, such as ownership and borrowing, the module system, concurrency with async await, etc. The second reason why Rust might be hard to learn is that sometimes Rust concepts are explained with the assumption that the audience has knowledge of systems programming. This is usually not the case. In fact, I did a poll on my YouTube community page where most people said that they came from a web development background. And lastly, Rust might be hard to learn because there's a lack of tutorials building real world projects. Ideally, there would be a Rust course that explains the hard parts of Rust in an easy to understand way without assuming too much systems programming knowledge. A course that includes projects so you get hands-on experience and a course where you have a community of other developers who can help you out. If you would like to see a course like this, leave a comment down below. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and most importantly, get your free Rust cheat sheet by heading over to letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.